So you might have recently been laid off or you're just in the process of finding a better job. Well, the one thing is clear, it's definitely not easy in this macroeconomic environment. A lot of other candidates are competing for the same job, so you really need to find a way to stand out. And the best way that you can stand out is by having a winning resume that gets noticed. And if you haven't been living under a rock, you have probably heard about ChatGPT. So how can you use ChatGPT to create a winning resume and stand out? Well, in this video, what we're gonna talk about is the seven ChatGPT prompts that will drastically help you improve your resume, help you stand out so that you can land that dream job. And if you stick until the end, I will give you a resume template that I personally used to land a job at these companies. All right, prompt number one, tailor my resume, insert your resume here, to the following job description, insert job description here. Now, why is this one important? Well, first of all, when you do submit your resume, likely it will first go to an automated applicant tracking system or an ATS, and then it will go to a recruiter. And what happens during that stage is that both the ATS and the recruiter look for keywords for that specific job that they're looking to fill. So making sure that your resume is not generic, but rather tailored to that job description is the first step to make sure that your resume doesn't fall into a black hole. So let's take a look at an example. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sample resume for a senior financial analyst, and I'm going to copy that resume and then go to ChatGPT and then start typing, tailor my resume and then I would uh, just paste that resume in here. And then I would say to the following job description. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy a uh, job description of a position for a senior financial analyst. And then I'm gonna copy the URL and then paste the URL in here and then hit generate. And then what you'll see is that uh, ChatGPT is now tailoring the resume to include uh, the keywords and the context of the job description uh, but i would urge you to make sure that you take what it gives you and then you still validate what it generated and make sure that uh, you adjust anything uh, as needed so that's how you leverage prompt number one all right prompt number two write resume bullet points with quantified impact that demonstrate my experience as a and then you insert your title so for example it could be as a financial analyst. If your resume is outdated, the first thing that you wanna do is update it. And the best way to do that is to use ChatGPT to kickstart the process and give you some ideas. Now, will they be perfect? Probably not. But ChatGPT will give you some ideas that you can then refine. All right, so we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and we're gonna type, write resume bullet points with quantified impact that demonstrate my experience as a financial analyst. And the key here is that you're telling it to do uh, bullet points with quantified impact. So let's hit generate and you'll see that this will give you some ideas around what are some of the things that you should highlight, but make sure that it does reflect your actual experience and your actual impact, but feel free to use the language from, from these bullet points as well as just the ideas that it gives you. All right, prompt number three, rewrite the following bullet point by adding quantified impact, and then you add the bullet point. What I see in a lot of resumes is that people put their tasks and the job duties, but they leave out the impact, which is the most important thing uh, to highlight in your resume. What is the impact that you have had in the organization where you have worked or where you work currently. Now, this will really help you stand out among other candidates because a lot of people simply put their job duties and it will give a directional sense to uh, the potential employer or a hiring manager around some of the milestones that you have had at your previous job. Now, don't try to be perfect, but just give a directional sense around your accomplishments. All right, let's do a quick demo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, rewrite the following bullet point by adding quantified impact. And then the bullet point, I already copied it. It says reviewed financial statements and analyzed sales revenues, costs, expenses, and tax rates for all business units of a leading process automation company. So let's hit generate and let's see what it gives us. 
So you'll see here that um, in addition to highlighting what you've done, it also says resulting in identifying cost saving opportunities amounting to 1.5 million and optimizing tax strategies that led, led to a tax savings of 10% for the company. So that's a lot better. And again, make sure that it reflects your actual impact, but use the language from the generated output and make sure that your bullet points have the impact that you brought to the organization. All right, and now we get to prompt number four, which is make my resume more succinct and make sure it fits on one page. Now, why is this one important? Well, if you have less than 10 years of experience, you should have your resume fit onto one page. It's a lot more convenient for the recruiter, for the hiring manager, when they only have to review one page and they have enough information on that one page to make a decision on whether you are the right candidate or not. What this will also do is make sure that you only leave the most impactful information on your resume and take out the things that perhaps are not as impactful. So let's take a look. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a sample resume here, which is longer than one page, and I'm going to copy that, go to ChatGPT and say, make my resume more succinct and make sure it fits on one page. I'm gonna copy and paste the resume, click generate, and then this will make sure that my resume fits onto a page and it will also make it more succinct so that uh, you don't have to um, edit it, it will do it for you. All right, prompt number five is write a professional summary using my resume below. Now, the professional summary is your elevator pitch. You generally use that to reach out to a recruiter, hiring manager, or generally just network. You can also use it to update your LinkedIn profile, which I highly recommend that you do. You can also tell ChatGPT how long your professional summary should be, which is dependent on, again, if you are sending an email or if, you, if you're using it for a LinkedIn profile, ChatGPT will make sure that it pulls the most important information into that length. Having a professional summary on the resume itself is a personal preference. I have actually never included mine just to save some space and make sure everything fits onto that one page as we talked about. However, it is a personal preference and if you feel like you would want to, um, number one, highlight your professional experience at the top of the resume and also include the relevant keywords uh, for the position that you're applying for, please go ahead and do so. I think that's a great idea. All right, let's go ahead and copy this resume and go to ChatGPT and say, write a short professional summary paragraph using my resume below. Hit generate. And this will give you a paragraph with your professional summary. And you can use that or a snippet of it to, again, email a hiring manager, reach out on LinkedIn, or if you need to network or do an introduction, you can also use that as well. Problem number six is spell check my resume and remove any jargon, and then you insert the resume. If you're like me, it's really easy to assume that recruiters know everything about the field that you're applying for. However, if you are in a technical field, it's really hard for recruiters to connect your experience directly to the job that they're trying to fill. So make it easy for them by using ChatGPT to simplify the language and remove any of that technical jargon and spell out any acronyms that you have in your resume that are easy to miss. All right, let's copy this resume again and let's go back to ChatGPT and say, spell check my resume and remove any technical jargon. And then you insert the resume. And this will simplify your resume, remove that technical jargon, but definitely validate it to make sure that it doesn't miss anything. And lastly, prompt number seven, redo my resume and then you insert the resume using the following format. 
insert the format. As promised, I'm giving you a resume template that I've personally used to land a job at big tech companies as well as other Fortune 100 companies. Not only did it help me land a job or, or multiple jobs, but it's a proven structure for applicant tracking systems or ATS, as well as hiring managers and recruiters. And as a hiring manager myself, I've always appreciated candidates using a similar format. All right, we're gonna copy this resume and go to ChatGPT and say, redo my resume. And then we're gonna paste the resume. And then we're gonna say, using the following format. And then I'm gonna go here, copy this format that I will give you. And I'm going to then hit generate. And this will then use a similar format to update your resume. Now, if you need to use this template, you could find the link to this resume template in the description below. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and hit the like button if you haven't already. And also let me know in the comment section below if you have found any other chat GPT prompts that I didn't list in this video. Until next time.